the tea. The milkman, the paper boy, evening TV. Did I get delivered here? Somebody tell me, please. So what? What's, What's poppin', poppin cougars? cougars? I'm Emmy, and today is Thursday, January 6, 2022. And I'm Hadley, and it's a red day. Please, Please rise, rise and, and join us for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. For today's lunch, we have breaded chicken sandwich. The premium meal is loaded potato skin bar, and deli bar. The sides are Fiesta black beans, mixed vegetables, peach cup, frosted cookie, tossed salad, milk, and juice. For tomorrow's lunch, we have pepperoni cheesy bread. The premium meal is pasta bar and spicy chicken sandwich. The sides are fries, roasted butternut squash, fruit cocktail, tossed salad, milk, and juice. Speaking of lunch, don't forget. Please make sure you're wearing your ID whenever you go through the lunch time so it's quicker and easier for all of us. Plus, the quicker you get through it, the more time you'll have to catch up with your friends. It's everyone's favorite part of the show. It's joke time. Do you have one? You know it. Why can't a nose be 12 inches long? Because we aren't Pinocchio? No, because then it'd be a foot. Emmy. Okay. Well, each month, we focus on a character word that we should all try to practice, model, and hopefully make a habit in our daily lives. And we just started a new month. We sure did. Do you know what January's character word is? Yes. And it's acceptance. It means treating others with kindness and respect no matter the difference. We can use this every day here at CMS by accepting all the different types of people here. Listen up, Cougars. Make sure you're grabbing your copy of the 21-22 yearbook. They're on sale right now for $28. You should totally grab yours now. Wow, that's a great deal. Yearbooks can be purchased through www.jostens.com. Yearbooks are such a great way to keep all those great memories. This is sure to be another year to remember, so make sure you're getting yours now. Now that we've started a new quarter and semester, it's a great time for a reminder of the cost of replacement items in case you may lose any of these things. Lanyards are $3. A replacement ID badge is $5 after your one free reprint. It's super important that you have your badge on every day for a variety of reasons. So if you've lost yours, please plan to get a replacement ASAP. Plastic batch holders are $1, a planner is $5, and replacement binder is $3. It's super important to be prepared for all of your classes having these key items. If you do find yourself needing any of these items, you'll need to go see Miss Mays in the front office for your replacement items. Listen up, Cougars. There's an easy way to report bullying here at CMS called the Sprigio program. It's super easy to access. All you have to do is go to the Congress website, find the Sprigio icon, click on it, and then enter the information. Please make sure this resource, if you want to make sure, feel safe coming to school. And now, here's an important message from our amazing principal, Dr. Early. Good morning, Cougars. Hey, I know what you're thinking. Wasn't he just on the announcements a couple days ago? Yeah, I was, but maybe it could become like a regular thing. We could call it the early show because it's early and I'm... Yeah, never mind. Okay, bad idea. What I'm here to talk to you about today is a couple different things. We're going to talk AMI days. We're going to talk lockers. Um, first off, you know the weather. It's pretty cold outside today, right? But not necessarily cold enough to cancel school, and I'm sure some of you are not very happy about that. But I promise at some point between now and the end of the school year, we'll probably have a day where the weather sends us into an AMI day. Not, I shouldn't say cancel school because we will still have school online. Um, with these days, you guys should know by now 
what you need to do. Your teachers have shared the schedule with you and the expectation is, is that you get online and try to check in with your teachers. There's an actual schedule that you follow. Uh, again, you should have that. If you don't know where that is, if you haven't seen that, double check with one of your teachers today. I promise it's out there. And what typically has happened in the past when we have these days, I get a lot of phone calls and emails from parents uh, at the beginning of the day that says, my child doesn't know how to, to find their work. And I would say, I'm not sure if that's the case, all right? Because what's going to happen if, if mom or dad does make that call, I'm going to direct them right back to what your teachers have already told me. You should be checking Schoology. You should be following that schedule. I think you know this stuff, and sometimes I just think that maybe we uh, don't want to do it. But it is an expectation if we have an AMI day. Nope, that doesn't mean we're just going to sleep all day. It means you should try to get on. You should check in with your teachers. They're there for you, okay? They're there to help you. You don't want to get behind. If they're posting assignments and you need clarification, they are going to be there um, for at least the beginning of, of every class in that schedule to check in with you, to answer questions. And, of course, throughout the day, you can email them and, and get answers from them. So if you don't know the AMI schedule, and, again, I think you do because I think our teachers have promoted it, um, double-check with the teacher today and just be prepared for that in case we have some bad weather in the future because this this is Missouri, and I promise the bad weather's coming. Let's talk about something else, lockers. We are going back to lockers, and I know that makes a lot of you happy because a lot of you have emailed me and asked me about it. Um, we originally went away from lockers because we thought it would maybe help with the spread of COVID and people gathered around lockers and things like that. I think in the end, we discovered that it really wasn't that big of a change, and it didn't help as much as we would like. So we are going back to lockers, but we're going back Full force. This isn't one of those things where it's like, eh, I might use a locker. Everybody's being assigned a locker, and everyone will use their locker. Um, you guys know me. I'm out and about a lot during the day, and I go in a lot of classrooms. And I, I tell you, there's some classrooms where I can barely walk in the door because of all the backpacks and jackets and sometimes band instruments and uh, other things that we see. And it's, it's kind of dangerous to move around. That's one of the reasons that we're going back. We want to, uh, you know, our classrooms aren't all that big. So we want to remove that congestion from the classrooms and actually have spaces to walk. But there are a whole host of other reasons why we're doing it as well. Um, long story short, again, most of you wanted this. I think most of you are happy with this, and we are going to do it. So... Please understand, when I say backpacks and lockers, I mean backpacks and lockers. It's not a choice. Also understand, when I say phones and lockers, I do mean phones and lockers. That's not just your teachers picking on you. That's coming from me. And I really think, and I know this sounds like a very old person thing to say, and you probably don't want to hear it, but I think some of you, if you're willing to do that, might actually appreciate it because these phones can be a distraction. I know. I get distracted by mine, too. i got to check social media to see what's going on with my chiefs. But sometimes I need to set the phone aside and just focus on the task at hand. And to be honest, several of you have been written up over having your phones out. And this will hopefully prevent you from being in trouble. And when I've had to make those calls uh, to parents about the write-up over cell phones, a lot of parents have even said, I wish you just had lockers so my kid could put up their phone and it wasn't there to tempt them. That's what we're going to do. And again, that is the expectation. Your phones will be in your lockers. And uh, that probably doesn't make me a very popular guy this morning, but... It is the expectation. We're going to follow it, and I think it's going to prevent some problems for you. I also want to say that with the lockers, um, if you are a member of Team Thunder or if you are an eighth grader who rides the bus, Team Thunder students who ride the bus, eighth graders who ride the bus, because we're going to go back to using our lockers and we're going to have those locker doors open in the morning, we're going to ask that if you once you get off the bus, you enter through the 100 pod because we just think everybody coming off the bus entering through the 300 pod and coming down that hallway while people are trying to get in their lockers will be a little packed. So again, all Team Thunder people and all 8th grade students who ride the bus, you, when you get off the bus, you should come in through the 100 pod. There will be somebody there to monitor that door and let you in. So, again, AMI days, be online. Check in with your teachers. We're here for you. I don't want to get those emails or phone calls that say, my child doesn't know what to do. Yes, you do. Let's get on it. With your lockers, not a choice. Backpacks, jackets, and phones go in lockers. We're going to do this. We're going to, we're going to clear out our classrooms. We're going to have less distractions. It's going to be a positive thing, even if you don't want to hear it. And again, because of the lockers, Team Thunder and eighth grade students who ride the bus come in through the 100 pod. This is uh, the early show signing off, and hopefully the last time you'll have to see me for a while. Thanks, guys. Thank you for that message, Dr. Early. Super important for information and reminders for sure. And that's a wrap. I'm Emmy, and today is Thursday, January 6, 2022. And I'm Hadley, and it's a red day. Peace, Peace out, out, Cougars. Cougars.